All right, so as you see here, we have two phone numbers right now for our client. We have the Google Business Profile Ads number, and then we have the Google Ads Click to Call Extension number. Then we have a number pool, so this is four phone numbers, and they all swap on the landing page. This is probably the most important one that causes the most headache for people inside of Go High Level, so we'll talk about that. So how do you buy phone numbers? So for example, Google Business Profile Ads, if you know anything about Google Ads, this is the location extension, uh, the number where that shows up on the location extension. So whenever you see a Google Business Profile Ad, um, we want to replace that number with this number here. Then we have the Google Ads click to call extension number. That's going to be for desktop and mobile. They can just click on the ad and call right away. And we'll track that as well. And then number pools, this is what's going to go on the landing page. So anytime someone visits the landing page, instead of calling their client's phone number, it's going to swap it with one of any four numbers that we have here. And this is basically ripped off from CallRail, but it's a lot cheaper, so that's why we love it inside of Go High Level. So let's go ahead and show you how to buy a phone number. So you're gonna go to settings and phone numbers, that's where we are. And then at the top right, there's an add number. In the drop down, there's add phone number, add number pool. What you wanna do for these two is add a phone number, not a number pool. We're gonna do this twice. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and hit filter. You're gonna do first part of the number, and then you're gonna put the area code of wherever your client is in. So let's say that's 530, for example, you hit apply, and then you're gonna go ahead and buy a phone number. Okay, now once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and hit configure settings. Once you purchase it, it's only $1.15 per month, and then you'll go ahead and see this in your account, and it'll pop up uh, this setting. So, so you, you should see something like this once you purchase it. You're going to see the name of your number, which we just always name it appropriately. Forward calls to, that's going to be your client's phone number, whatever they want, or your phone number if this is your business. Uh, we always enable call connect feature, whisper message, we just say call from Google Ads, call recording, this call will be recorded for quality assurance. And we put 60 seconds for incoming and outgoing calls. You're gonna do the same exact thing for the Google Ads click to call extension number. And then for number pool, what you're gonna do is add a number pool. You're gonna use visitor activity. This is create multiple numbers. You're gonna do all visitors. Now it might be, you might say why not, you know, visitors from Google Ads. We've seen it just work better with all visitors. So just do that. Now here's kind of the same settings. You're gonna name it appropriately. We just put client name and then dash Google Ads dynamic tracking numbers. And then four is the pool size. This is how many numbers you're gonna buy. We always start off with four. You might not need four, but you do need a minimum of four at least. Then you're gonna put your client's phone number here and then same as forwarding number. And then I acknowledge that I am purchasing and adding four new numbers. So, so I think that's like $4.60 or something like that. All right, you guys, and then once you have your phone numbers purchased, what you're gonna do is go ahead and go into your client's sub account. You're gonna go to settings again, integrations, and you're gonna make sure the client's Google Ads account is selected. Um, so if you have an MCC account, if you're uh, an agency, you're gonna go ahead and select your agency MCC account, and then you're gonna go ahead and select your client's account under that once you select that. Once you have that, you can go ahead and go into automation. Uh, we have one here, so we have Google Ads conversion. So the trigger is gonna be call status, Call direction is gonna be incoming, and then you're gonna add a filter, and it's gonna say in number pool, and then you're gonna select your only number pool that you have. Once you have that done, you're gonna go ahead and add, add to Google AdWords. So if you just type in Google, there's a action that says add to Google AdWords. You're gonna select that, and you're gonna say other, and then we'll come back to this in one second. You gotta set up something in Google Ads. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to tools and settings and then conversions inside of your client's Google Ads account. This is just a dummy account. And what you're gonna do is hit new conversion action. From here, you're gonna do import. Now, depending on your client's account or your account, you might not see this manual import using API or uploads. You might just see other data sources or CRMs. Whichever one, just choose manual import if you have it. If not, it's gonna be other data sources or CRMs. And then you're gonna choose trick, track conversions from, from clicks, um, not from calls. I'm not sure why, it probably does work. However, I'm just following what Go High Level tells me. So I'm just gonna do track conversion from clicks and then we're gonna hit continue.
Now here you're gonna do converted lead as the goal in action optimization. You're gonna make sure this is a primary action and then here's what's super important. You have to name this correctly or without any misspellings and then copy it over to your workflow. If it is, if there are any misspellings or extra spaces, the conversion action is not gonna work. It's not gonna track properly. So what we do is just do phone call lead, go high level, okay? There's no extra spaces, it's 19 characters. You just gotta make sure that's there. Don't use the value. We're gonna do one and then we do last click for now and then create and continue. Now, once you have that, once that is all set up, what you're gonna do is go to add to Google AdWords, you're gonna hit other, and then you're gonna copy and paste that name that you just made without any spaces. So it was phone call lead go high level, right? We're gonna put that there and then save the action. I'm not gonna actually save it because it's our client's workflow, but that's how you add that. And now anytime someone comes in, and calls any one of those four phone numbers inside of that number pool, it's gonna go ahead and track that as a conversion, add it, and you'll see it inside of your dashboard. Now we have other things for our clients, but um, we go over that inside of our paid ad system setup course, which you can get for free if you will sign up under our affiliate link, or you can purchase it if you already have Go High Level. We'll leave more links in the description and talk about that more later in the video. We have plenty of templates, and again, we'll talk about that later. Now for the other phone numbers like the uh, Google Ads click to call extension number and the Google Business Profile number, uh, we also have a automation for that but we do not add it to Google AdWords because those are Google hosted conversion actions. They do not have anything to do with Go High Level. All you have to do is purchase numbers from Go High Level and then input it there. But let's go ahead and talk about this. So whenever someone comes in and calls Google Ads click to call extension number or the Google Business Profile Ads number, then we send an internal notification to ourselves and we also create an updated opportunity for our clients. Now for these, let's go ahead and talk about how to set these up inside of Google Ads. Now if you're familiar with this and you already know how to do it, just go ahead and skip this part. But if you're not unsure, if you're unsure, then let's go ahead and talk about it. So the Google Ads click to call extension number, you definitely want this inside of your a client's account. So you buy a number, then you're gonna go to assets inside of your Google Ads account. You're gonna go to call, click the add button, and then you should see something like this. Now what you're gonna do is input that phone number that you just purchased uh, right here, this phone number, and paste it in here. And then you're gonna have a conversion action that you wanna name specifically. So if you don't have one, you can just go here and hit manage conversions. And then what you're gonna do is do a new conversion action. You're gonna do phone calls, call from ads using call extensions or call only ads. You're gonna hit continue. Then you're gonna name it whatever you want, like click to call, uh, lead, or something like that. You're gonna do don't use a value. You're gonna do one. We always do 30 seconds just uh, anytime some, a call goes over 30 seconds, it's gonna count it as a conversion. And then we do last click as the uh, attribution model. And then that's it. Once you do that, you should refresh the screen, conversion action, you're gonna see your newly created conversion action and that will differentiate all the different conversion actions so you know, oh, that convert, we gotta click to call extension number. Uh, conversion so that's how you do that for locations what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure first you have access to your clients uh, Google business profile manager access so uh, if you're not sure how to do that there's plenty of other videos on how to do that but once you do let's say you have access to it so what you do is you're gonna go to your clients pretend this is your clients account you're gonna hit the three dots you're gonna hit business profile settings and then you're gonna do advanced settings. All the way at the bottom, there's this place called Google Ads phone number. What you're gonna do is grab your Google Business Profile ads number and copy it, and then you're gonna paste it in here. Once you do that, and once the location asset is created, so once you have a location asset added to your client's account, for example, as you can see here, it says business profile, and then our agency, and then the name of the, our client should be here. Once that's connected, you guys, then 
anything that you put inside of this settings, that's what number is going to show whenever the location asset show. And that's how you set up all of this for Google ads and high level, all the conversion tracking. Now you guys, if you are currently thinking about using high level, then you definitely want to think about using our link because you're going to get all three of these agency bonuses. You're going to get our paid ads high level setup course for free. Now usually it retails for $100, but if you sign up with our link, you can get it for free. You can also get a 30 minute Zoom call with us and you're going to get the snapshot where you can just import everything into your new high level account. Now don't worry, if you are already a high level user, you can still get this course. It's just not going to be free. But all the links to that will be in the description. This course, again, is going to teach you how to do everything for Google Ads inside of high level. Again, the automations, all the lead and SMS notifications, all the conversion tracking for everything that you need, uh, and our landing page templates, our automation templates, and everything like that. So if you guys want to check that out, the links will be in the description. So again, if you are not a high level user, definitely use our link and you're going to get these agency bonuses. And if you are a current high level user, you can still get the course. Just click the link in the description for either option and we will see you guys in the next video.